Hello Dodger Nation, we have some hot and twisty news that promises to shake up the Dodger behind the scenes. Are you ready to learn more about an unexpected decision involving a player who was once targeted by the Dodgers? Stay tuned until the end, and don't miss any details of today's bombshell. The Miami Marlins have designated an off-season acquisition for assignment for the second time in two weeks. The latter was a long-time trade target of the Los Angeles Dodgers. That player was the only major league free agent signed by Miami this offseason. He didn't have the kind of first half the team was hoping for. In 65 games, he posted an OPS plus of 30, and his Fangraphs war of minus 1.2 ranked last among 27 MLB shortstops with at least 240 plate appearances. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Dodger news here. The player is Tim Anderson. It's never an easy day when you have to DFA one of your everyday players, Miami Marlins manager Skip Shoemaker said. Tim was incredible in the locker room. I didn't know him before this year. I knew him as a player, obviously, but not as a person, and he was one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Always here early, working the field, doing your hitting routine, trying to figure out how to get back to where you were in 2021 to 2022, and that's the hardest part when guys try so hard and there's no production, nothing to show for it. The 31-year-old has long been a target for the Dodgers, and could make sense as a fit since Mookie Betts fractured his hand and was sent to the injured list. However, Los Angeles found its interim shortstop in Miguel Rojas and it's hard to imagine Los Angeles acquiring someone to play in his place. Entering Friday's series opener against the Milwaukee Brewers, Rojas is batting .290 with 21 runs scored, 3 home runs, 19 RBIs and 3 stolen bases. Anderson was batting .214 with 16 runs scored, no homers, 9 RBIs and 4 stolen bases. Anderson also has 234 hits compared to Rojas 156. While Anderson has historically been a solid player, a two-time All-Star, Silver Slugger and batting champion, there is something to be said for the chemistry on the field and in the locker room. Rojas earned his moment and did nothing to lose his spot. He played so well that there are conversations going on about moving bets to second base when he is activated from the IL. Anderson's MLB future remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. He is a talent that will not go unnoticed for long. In the meantime, the Dodgers need to carefully evaluate their needs and options to ensure they remain competitive this season. So, Dodgers fans, what do you think about this situation? Should the Dodgers acquire Anderson or trust Rojas? Leave your opinions in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Dodger updates and news here.